Howdy everyone, this is Trisha and welcome to my channel. So today I am off running an, an errand. Um, I got up today uh, feeling a little bit, mm, but uh, I was remembering there's something about today I couldn't, I shouldn't say I was remembering, I kept thinking there's something about today, today's Thursday, what is it about Thursday? That Why do I have Thursday on my mind? Well anyway, on Tuesday I put up a video showing you that my sister-in-law came over and we went and we cleaned out the rental house. So I was explaining to you guys about, uh, I'm gonna have to have it painted. We're gonna have to have it painted. So my husband called someone. He said in five days, he would be free to come look, you know, and give us a price and then tell us when he was gonna be able to paint it. Well, he called last night and said, hey, I can come tomorrow, meaning today at noon. And he did. So we talked about him, we showed him the house, he gave us a price for the whole thing. The, not only the walls painted, but the trim. So you can paint the trim. And uh, he gave us a price and he told us how much paint we needed. And I just said, well, I'm just gonna get a five gallon. Just like I did the last time when we painted, you know, our bedroom, I mean, our living room and our and our kitchen and then the two little, little hallways in the house. Um, and we didn't use up a whole five gallon of paint, but it was better than buying single gallons and then possibly not having enough and having to go back because he did say well three gallons for sure but you might have to go back for another we'll see if I can just do it with three gallons uh, if you get me the one with a primer you know the good paint you know so I said yeah that's what we're gonna get um, so uh, but then I thought no I'm gonna go ahead and get a five gallon so no that's where I'm going I'm going to Lowe's uh, before that I had made myself a little list of things to do go to Lowe's get the paint and some spackling because I'm gonna cover the little holes and actually tomorrow he's already going to get started he's going to do all the trimming you know around the frame and on the door on the floorboards and around the doorways he's going to do that uh start tomorrow um he said he did have another job but he's from out of town in another city but he has a job here in our city and he goes there and he does two or three hours of work and he does that early he says but he's out in the sun so he's but he, but he says he would get done with that have his lunch and then he'll come over and then do two or three hours at our house and if we were okay with that and we said yeah because you're gonna start tomorrow so you're not starting you know we're not waiting till Friday or Saturday for him to come over and look at it and give us an estimate and then maybe start on Monday or Tuesday or whenever the heck he could start you know we didn't know this is a lot sooner than we thought and we already know him we already know what kind of work he does and we're happy with it and there's a lot of other little things that we still have to do to the house that uh, the house is not gonna be ready for rental you know immediately or in within a week or two anyway so we were like yeah however you need to do it you know uh, just need to, you know, he told us tomorrow he would start. So I'm off to go get paint, the white paint. And he said one gallon is all he needs. Uh, and then, so I'm going to get a gloss for that. But for the walls, I'm going to get semi-gloss. Um, I think that's what I got for our house. Because I want it to be like the kind where you just wipe it. You know, like you can use it in the kitchen and all that. So it'll be nice to easily wipe it clean. Um, anyway, so I had other things to do. The other thing was to water the plants outside, which I did. But I should have done that really early in the day or late in the day, not in the middle of the day. Because, uh, you know, everything just, the, the heat of the sun just soaks up the water. And I, you know, too quickly into the ground and, or dries it up, evaporates it. So, um, I don't know. Oh, they're doing some construction. Okay. So it's not an accident. That's a good thing. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah. So I'm, I'm going to go get that. And then I also had to check my mail because I ordered a cover. I got an iPad for Mother's Day. So I ordered a, a case, you know, cover for my iPad and it got delivered yesterday. It's delivered yesterday, um, but it wasn't on our front door. So okay, it's, it's in the mailbox. I thought, oh, it's in the mailbox. I'll get it tomorrow. So today, just now before leaving, I checked the mailbox and it's not in there. So now I have to make a claim to Amazon. Uh, well, I did yesterday. Uh, oh, that was something else. I have to claim, make a claim for this thing now that I didn't get that. Where is it? I have to, I have to check the where it says that it got delivered because it's not delivered in my house. It's not in my mailbox. Okay, so I made a claim yesterday because uh, I don't know if I told you guys, but my husband and I went and we bought ourselves um, new phones. We went and got ourselves new phones and I knew that I had to get new phones for my parents because I have them under our account. They're all, we're all, in the, my son also, we have us all, all five of us are on there and, um, so I said, well, we're going to get our phones. We're going to get my parents their phones. So I went and I got, the phone fell down. So I went and I got the phones from my parents and we took them. 
go from some phones to the other. My husband and I got seven hundred seven hundred dollar credit for each of our phones. I got I don't know fifty or something like that for my dad. I didn't get anything for my mom's uh, because her phone was just I wasn't even working. That was nothing good, and I knew it. Those phones that my parents had were actually our old phones before we got the phones that we had been using, the, the iPhones that we had been using, and they were the X or the ten. Uh, so uh, now we got the 13 Pro Max and I decided to get those for my parents and the only reason that I got them for my parents uh, was because they're bigger you know you can see the print a little bit better and I wanted them to have big screens uh, but I, in hindsight I should have just gotten them some regular you know not too expensive phones because well my mom yes because she does look on Facebook a lot she does take YouTube you know she does a lot of things on it my dad rarely my dad really just calls on the phone like he would look at his Facebook before but um, he doesn't really look at it and then my brother got them a, a smart TV so now they can kind of look at all that from there um, but my mom said no he doesn't he doesn't use his phone for anything and I know that because every time I go over there his phone's always in the same little spot on top of a table they're in the kitchen and this tall you know kind of stool a table with some stools but it's not like in the kitchen or dining room it's kind of like in between and everything gets thrown on top of that everything they bought go buy recent or some food takeout or whatever and the mail everything is on top of that so I was cleaning up because I was like somebody's got to clean up this mess so I was cleaning up a little bit and there was the brand new phone that I just got my dad and I'm like mom had you all did y'all lose it had, she goes no he just left it there and it's been there and I go so he doesn't even use it and she's like no you know just send it back take it back you know whatever he doesn't use it or stuff and I'm like oh my god you know I paid a lot of money for them I'm like just send them back you need to use them or, or I'll figure out something right so anyway so I noticed my son he's got his iPhone so I just happened to ask him um it was on Mother's Day I think I asked him yeah Sunday and I said um you like your phone what phone do you have and he goes I have the iPhone 12 and I'm like oh oh so you just got that and he goes no mom I've had it for two years and I thought he had a brand new phone for whatever reason um, but he just he had it for two years so I said oh would you like the iPhone 13 Pro Max by any chance and he was like uh, yes I would love that phone <laughs> my son Nathan it's my younger son he never asks for anything never since he was a little kid it was so hard like what do you want for Christmas make us a list my older son boom here's my list get whatever you can from that <laughs> our younger son was like well you know maybe this you don't have to give me anything he never felt like he deserved anything so he never felt like he wants to ask for anything so he never would so the fact that his his face lit up like I would love an iPhone 13 like his reaction to that was like well and I said you know what your your grandpa does not use his phone the one that I just got him and he knows that I just got them that and I'm, I'm sure he probably thought like oh they got my grandparents <laughs> these phones that they don't even know how to use and I would love to get a brand new phone you know what I mean because he wanted a new phone but he never said anything or maybe he mentioned it but he didn't really like you know point it out or anything um so I said oh, well I'm gonna switch him and he goes and I took can you switch over do we just go to the Verizon and let them do it he goes oh no you just say you know change the sim cards it's really easy to do we can do that or, you know you know or we can I can do it the other way around like do the iCloud and all that crap whatever and I said no because I didn't I didn't set him up for that I actually went in and manually filled in all his information and you know his his contacts my dad has like 12 contacts on his phone so I said I can redo that because I have the same contacts so anyway um just you know erase it or whatever you got to do and uh, give me you know give me your erased phone and I'll put his information in it and then you know you erase the stuff that he has in there and put your stuff in there so that's what he did my son took care of it all I brought him the phone and he did that so then I ordered a case for it because my son had a case but it wasn't any good so he decided you know he wasn't using the case anymore and he threw away the case he goes oh it's just really easy to get a, you know order and you can just get a new case for it and i go yeah i need to get a case for it because your grandpa you know his grip you know i want him to, i want to make sure that he has you know a good good grip on the phone and i don't want him to have you know it just slip out of his hand because it's so thin and small too you know and so i ordered a case and I looked at the make sure iPhone 12, the model, everything. I just made sure that everything was matching the measurements, everything that it said on there. I mean, I was diligent about getting this. So I got it a few days ago. I got it immediately because I ordered it 
um, I ordered it on Sunday night. I got it on Tuesday. And here's, here it is. It's very nice. Very nice little case. It's just simple. Nothing fancy about it. Um, I'll pull it out a little bit more. This is what I got. Um, but, you guys, it's slightly too big for the phone. I got the phone here with me. It does not fit in there. It's a little bit too small for this case, or the case is a little bit too big for the phone. The, if I put it in there, it, it, it looks like it's in there, but if you turn it like this, it goes like this. And if I turn it anymore, it just flops right out. Not only that, but the little button, you know, bits here where you can, you're supposed to go over the, the buttons on your phone here. These, they're not, they don't align. They're, they don't align with it here. They're like so much lower, like almost halfway lower. And then so these other smaller teeny tiny ones you know if you think you're gonna push up the volume this one you're actually pushing this one and then the one for the other one it's like down here so you're not pushing anything so this one shows right through and then this one you can't even see it at all it's completely covered so and this this aligns well the camera but everything else doesn't so i had to make a claim and that's the other claim that i did last night all that just to tell you that anyway i'm here at lowe's i'm gonna go in and see if i can find a nice color to paint the house and uh, buy it along with some white paint and I wish I had brought some water with me and I didn't I'm so thirsty you guys especially after all this talking that I did so I'll show you the uh, the little you know the little paper the little whatever with you know the color choice and we'll see what else all right all right you guys so I went into Lowe's <laughs> and after looking at all the you know because I went straight to the swatches you know the the paint colors so I grabbed all of these and I like this one this one's called clay angel this is from by Valspar and it's at Lowe's of course I'm thinking why does it feel a little different from the last time that I picked out my paints that I've used every time and then I realized it's at Home Depot where I really want to go. <laughs> so, because Home Depot has bare paint and that's the one that I tend to buy, bare paint. I don't know about this Valspar, I'm sure it's a good paint. I don't doubt it. I love shopping at Lowe's and at Lowe's I come here because of their garden. Really, I have to save this little receipt because I went ahead and I bought some items. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> I do love, I do love a Lowe's because of their, uh, oh, here's another one from Dollar Tree, I have to say, my goodness, um, because of their garden, but, and, and lighting, they have really nice uh, selection of lighting and things like that, faucets even and all that, but the paint, I feel like they have a better, that's my opinion, okay, I feel like they have a better opinion, a, not a better, a better selection at Home Depot, and I don't know why I find it so much, gosh, anyway. I'm not gonna worry about myself. This is me. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> Home Depot's where I feel like they have a better selection of paint. Not only that, but it's like it's easier to shop it for some reason. They have very good service here at Lowe's. That I will give them that. They have very good service. And we were just at Home Depot like last week or the week before. I don't remember exactly when it was with my mom because she's getting paint to have you know some rooms painted uh, in her house. So I was here helping her select, and we were at Home Depot. <laughs> And maybe it was just the person <laughs> at the time who was in a now very happy mood, but it didn't matter because soon after that, that person got replaced by another person who finished the transaction and everything, or the, you know, the order, the order with us. So, but it was kind of like, oh my gosh, goodness gracious, if you're having a bad day, I understand, but you know, you don't have to be so expressive of it <laughs> because I mean, I've worked in that service, you know, uh, industry, if you would. I've done all kinds of jobs, you know, working for people in front of people, you know, service and waitressing even. So I've done all of that. So I know how, how your days can get, but you know, you got to brush it all off because whatever is happening to you is not the fault of whomever has now approached you as a new person. Maybe the person that you, that put you in that mood is gone and they're out of your way. So you shouldn't, you know, project whatever negative things affected you or you let yourself affect or you or yourself with a problem don't reflect it against the next person that's just how i feel you know sometimes i was sick i mean you know you know back then i mean i had problems with some uh lady stuff 
and I would get very, very bad pains. All right, had to take a little break there to watch for traffic so I could cross over because I'm one side of the expressway to the other. So I have to come out of the parking lot, cross over to the far left lane to turn over to go to, because they're opposite of each other, Lowe's and Home Depot. Lowe's is on the north side and Home Depot is on the left of the six freeway, expressway, whatever you call it. I'm gonna take the turnaround here. Uh, anyway, yeah, so you don't wanna, you know, project whatever negative things you have on you to the next person. And, and you know, sometimes when you're in pain, you know, it's kind of hard to hide it, but you know, you, that you still try to, and it's funny because people will notice those things about you. I, I remember, you know, sometimes I was so like, I would be ringing up somebody's items and they had, because it was a craft store and I would be ringing, or even in the grocery store, but this is mostly in the craft store, I remember, because you get a different kind of people at the craft stores, you get nicer people. But anyway, <laughs> but then you also get the really extreme person and they are always there shopping. They don't ever stop, no matter how horrible you know the service or the people or the you don't have the merchandise or ah, whatever anyway there's always they always come back but and you always knew them but you're still like oh there she is okay well just see what happens this time <laughs> anyway um yeah you get you get a, a, a different uh you know character or person they're like a better movie most the majority the of the time so you know, it's all creativity, too, so you're constantly thinking, oh, create creativeness, and you get ideas from other people, and people ask you for ideas, so it's a constant sharing of thoughts and, you know, creativity, so you're in a better mood than if you're, like, just ringing up groceries, groceries, you know, one thing after another. It was a different way of, for me, I thought, when I went from that change to the other, you know, from one to the other. But, yeah, you know, you get people, and then they notice, you know, they get people that, they, like, kind of almost become your friends, and they're cus regular customers. Even in the grocery store, you get regular customers, you know them. But you get a different vibe from people who are over there buying crafts or, you know, creativeness or artists or whatever. You get a different, a little bit of different vibe. And it's and it's the same people that go to the same grocery store, and they're different over there than they are in the, gro in the craft store. Okay. So you get that different. So they notice you, and they'll be like, hey, are you okay? You seem kind of, you know, different. Because I was the constant you know, head cashier at the front, customer service, and they knew me. They knew my name. I almost knew almost all of their names too. You know, they knew me, so they, it becomes like, are you okay? You're, you're so, you look like you're not feeling well, you know? And then I would be like, oh yeah, I know, but I'll be okay. I'm gonna be, oh honey, you need to take a break. Call somebody else to come up here and take over for you. But you know, most of the time you didn't really have that. You didn't have that luxury of calling somebody to come up here while you went for whatever minutes that you needed to, you know, not be in pain anymore and come back. So a lot of times, you know, people are in pain or they're sick or something else and you know maybe depressed because of something that just they just heard so not only on one side but you know also you as a consumer as a customer going into a store or place you know don't jump too quickly you know i i know that i've gotten mad at myself but there's a way to you know don't be a karen <laughs> that's what i'm saying and don't blame the cashiers. I, I'm going to say this a million times. Maybe not even the manager because they're not the owners of the store. This isn't a flea market. You're not going into a store to make deals. Oh, give me this for less because I'm this or because I come in here and I buy all the time. Because you're not the only person that goes in there and buys all the time. Stop stop doing that. <laughs> stop being like that. Stop expecting more, you know, and for less. You know, just, you know, you have to also be thinking on your side, you know, like maybe these people, these people have been standing in that little spot at least four hours. Okay. They're working part time. They've been standing at the register. Maybe they're about to get ready to leave. Maybe they just came in. It doesn't matter, but they've been standing there customer after customer after customer. And, you know, you got to think, you know, they're not fresh. They're waiting just for you to come up to them and tell them and complain about something that they have no control over. They really don't even have an answer for it. And a lot of times they're told they're not supposed to deal with that. So they don't have any information, they have nothing. All they can do is call, maybe call, you know, call a manager and let you explain it to them, but move out of the way for the next customer because the other person behind you, that's not their fault, whatever your concern is or your complaint is or whatever. And I'm done with that because I'm hoping that a lot of people will just kind of start thinking like, yeah, you know, 
It's hard to because if you're upset about something and you, you know, something, you know, it's not there or, or for whatever reason, something. So whatever the, the situation, it's hard to like to think outside of yourself. You're just thinking about what you need and what you want to get. And oh, they don't have it. You know, you know, go over to your car and turn on your camera and record yourself saying something. Ah, let it all out. You know what I mean? And then look at it later and go, oh, my goodness. <laughs> so I'm just saying, that's all I'm saying. They have good service sometimes. Sometimes they don't. But, you know, it's nothing ever that you, like, totally, completely remember unless they're, like, really bad service or you get a really bad customer. And believe me, if you're a bad customer, they will remember you. So if you're not somebody that's ever worked in that industry, let it be known to you. That you're going to walk in and be nasty or mean before cameras, before, you know, smartphones and all this. Back in the day when we didn't have anything, we remember you. And every time you walk in, it's like, oh, there's that person, man, woman, child, whatever you are. We remember you. We may not know your name. And then sometimes we'll see you somewhere else shopping and we're like, oh, that's the person that always goes into there, into our place. Anyway, that's just a silly story and it's not important to tell you. I'm here at Home Depot gonna go in. All right, you guys, I'm out of Home Depot and I feel really good. I went ahead and I got the, the color. So I was showing you all the color choices. And I pointed at the one that I got. It is actually by Glidden, right here, Glidden. And I got a interior semi-gloss with primer. Uh, and it is the color Focus right there you focus that's the one I got and then I also got a gallon of white paint which is what the gentleman asked me for for the trimming um, and that was a a semi gloss also I, I think I was supposed to ask for a gloss I think my husband had told me that but I got a semi gloss it'll be okay that's what I got so anyway the yeah the gallon of of the I thought it was gonna be a lot more I don't know why I thought I saw 169 I was like 170 for five gallons so but then I saw the price of one gallon one gallon was uh, 36 I, I, I run it after $37 and the five gallon was 169 and some change so I run it off to 170 so if I was to do the um, what did it come out to I forgot I, I, I used my calculator so I did five gallons at 30 what did I say $37 oh my phone's right here I'm looking for my phone and I'm using it but well, let me see on my dad's phone does he have a calculator on here yes he does okay so let's do that so we do 37 times 5 that would be 185 dollars compared to the 170 and I go well, I gotta get a five gallon it's gonna I'm gonna save 15 dollars and I'll have more than enough paint like I had said before so when I went over there to ask for it, I said well how much is that you know for the paint that you know that I want you know I told her everything that I how I wanted it and I showed her the color everything she said oh that one's a hundred and twenty dollars a five gallon I go the five gallon and it comes with a primer and she said yes that's a primer and it's, and then she went off to tell me other prices and I'm like oh gosh I guess I saw the wrong thing and she goes well what, what did you see and I go oh I saw less <laughs> And I go, no, 120 is fine. Now that's that's a that's that's fine. So I, so I said, okay, I'll have that. And then I told her that I needed a gallon of the white paint. But anyway, there we go, you guys. So all together, because I did buy the gallon of pure white interior semi-gloss from Glidden, $25.98, and of course the five gallon Glidden semi-gloss interior with primer. I think the, the other one is also with primer. Yeah, premium. So that's a, that's with primer. Uh, 120 for the five gallon and then I bought a yardstick a wooden yardstick I don't know why I just grabbed it I, I was standing there when I saw it it's a dollar 48 and so it all came out to 147 46 but of course there's taxes on there so I paid 159 so I paid 160 dollars for six gallons of paint and I was originally gonna pay thinking that I was gonna pay 170 for five gallons so 
I ended up getting six for less, for $10 less than I was thinking. So that's a really good deal. So anyway, you guys, before I left, I had watered the yard. I don't know if I mentioned that. I'm going to put this receipt separately over here. Don't want to just throw it anywhere. So I had watered my yard. So I did a little compilation of the little flowers and some greenery, you know, in the garden. So I'm going to go ahead and close it off here. Um, I think that's all I have to say for now. So I'm going to give myself a big old thumbs up because I feel like I had a good productive day and now I just got to go home and worry about telling them that I didn't get my, my cover for my iPad, but that'll be okay. It'll get taken care of. So I hope that you give me a big old thumbs up and leave a kind comment down below. Let me know what you thought of my video today. Uh, anything else you want to add that maybe I should, that you maybe notice in the house that you should think, oh, why don't you do this or do that? I'm thinking about maybe making a little wreath for the door, getting a little welcome mat for it. So what do you think? Is that good doing too much? You know, I want to put it there and some maybe some aloe plants or some other succulents and little pods just to make it a little bit more like oh yeah we want to rent <laughs> this house and you know what i don't have ever uh you know like never have enough people to want to rent it there's always people that want to rent those of you who rent know this is just picking out who's the right match because they're going to be right next door to us and our neighborhood's very quiet very nice people so I want to make sure that I get people like that I want to get make sure I get renters like I had before they really spoiled us because they were really good renters so I want to do that and if you have any thoughts about anything let me know and uh, of course a lot of you said yeah we want to see the progress so then I'll show you after it gets it's painted and hopefully we can also get the floor done that will do after it gets painted that way if any paint falls, we're not going to worry about it. Although the gentleman is very careful. He was very careful on our house. And that's it. That's it, everyone. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the red button right down here in the little corner. And then you can hit the little notification bell. And that will let you know of all. I always choose all when I when I do that for everyone that I'm subscribed to. I just choose all so that I can notify of all the videos. And you'll get notified of all of my videos as soon as I upload them. I want to thank you all very much. Y'all are very inspiring to me. Um, I know that I haven't been feeling well. I can't do the things that I want to do. I haven't done any like real craft videos for you guys. And y'all have been very understanding. But I do have all these other little projects. So I figured, well, I'm going to go ahead and you know, because you know, it's hard to spend money on things that you don't need, but there's things that we need to do and I'm spending money on that. So I might as well just make a video out of that. So thank you all very much for saying yes, you want to see that and for your encouragement, your inspiration, your prayers, your kind thoughts, you're just being my friends. I love you all. Have a wonderful uh, rest of your week. And as always, enjoy. Oh, and enjoy the little video of my garden.